Hey, Desperate, it's me, your favorite housewife, Joe. Welcome to a new Let's Play series. This is Desperate Housewives, played on the hit gaming system, the personal computer. This game came out probably when the show came out. And this is a sub goal that y'all met to have me play this, in fact, right now this month. And I'm very excited to. I hear it's a very messy game. I played the intro, of course, to test the uh, volume levels. Otherwise, I know nothing about this. We're gonna play the game. So my my test family was the was Beavers. Um, I don't remember what her first name was. We're gonna create a new family. It has very Sims 2 vibes, by the way, from what I understand. Welcome to Wisteria Lane. It's time to create your character and your family. So me, I have to pick me, my appearance first. You don't really get too many choices. Um, but I'm thinking. Blonde hair. Oh, <laughs> what's going on with her? I like her. I kind of like her. Hairstyle, of course. Hair needs to be... I don't know if platinum. I'm going for... Um, what was that sh What was that movie with Nicole Kidman? Where all the... Everyone was a robot. A robot. Do y'all remember that, that, that show with... That movie? Uh... She was a, it turned out she was a Stepford Wives. We're going a little Stepford Wives. Hopefully, we can get a haircut that's... So, I kind of want it to look like... So, haircuts are not great. <laughs> the haircuts are not great. I kind of am drawn to this one. Let's go back to a... So, there's Platinum, and then there's this, which is Strawberry Blonde, which kind of makes me look... A little bit more, I would say. Um, um, not like I have super, you know, not not that there's anything wrong with platinum blonde hair, but my hair looks a little less dead. Oh, I didn't know I got to change my clothes. I didn't do this part. It, it's a little less dead. Oh my god, the juicy track suits, the power suits. Well, I mean, I would personally wear something like this. Or what? I don't know. Tra if Okay. I'm putting myself in these shoes. I am the desperate housewife. Tracksuit and heels? Are, are, wait, wait, wait. Chat, are we thinking the same thing? Were y'all thinking open-toed heels? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Are y'all thinking the same thing? Tracksuit with open-toed heels. Oh, here's just sweatpants. Well, is there a sweat... Is there... Maybe there's a, a zip-up jacket that's a little better. Oh, is this like a hoodie? It's a hoodie without a hood. Wait. Y'all thinking the same thing I'm thinking? Hey, I kind of like that. Um... Maybe kind of a severe mock turtleneck. Okay, I'm having too much fun with this already. I can already tell you, this game is going to be too much fun. <laughs> this might be too much fun. <laughs> Why is the waist in the wrong place with this? The waist is not in the right place with that. Okay, I'm thinking blue is my color. And I'm thinking... The skirts are sitting weird as well. Wait. Pajama jeans. <gasps> Wait! Pajama jeans. Pajama jeans! <laughs> These are pajama jeans. They're pajama jeans. With a nice, sensible, open-toed... Heel. Pajama jeans. Chat, it's pajama jeans. Um, and I'm gonna go with... Well, I kind of like those. Those are kind of strappy on the back. They let your heels do the breathing. So your mouth doesn't have to... Your nose? Your nose is the one that breathes. We're gonna do this. And we're gonna say that these are jelly. Oh my god. Jelly sandal heels. Oh, wait. Sexy pose? Oh! <laughs> Sexy pose? Casual pose. Demure. <laughs> Wait, 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 w
hands on your thighs. We're gonna go with Demure. I don't know if you get to keep the pose. It may just be showing what your pose is, but we're, we're gonna be doing this. We're not, okay, we'll name our husband Ned. We'll name our husband Ned, but I'm not gonna be Nancy. I don't wanna be Nancy though. We came up with a name before, we came up with a name before the, um, the VOD started and it was, um, oh shit, I forgot. Oh, it was Brenda, but spelled with an I, Brenda, Brenda, and then wind chimes. Sounds very like suburban, Brenda wind chimes. And we can name him Ned. And I guess we'll need to... What does Ned just have? Um, okay, so you don't really get to pick what your husband looks like. Oh, that's him, though. That's Ned, though. And um, you only get to... There's presets for the husband. But I think that's Ned, unfortunately. And our son's name is... Not Ned Jr. Not Chad. Who do we have as... Op so that's straight up Justin Timberlake. Let's have... I like the mohawk. I want our son to be rebellious. Look at the... Look at the mohawk kind of faux hawk situation. And we're gonna name him... Oh, not Bud. I would name my husband... No, I'm gonna name my husband Bud. If that's the case, I'm gonna name my husband Bud. My husband's name is Bud. He looks like a Bud. And my son's name will be Bud and Brenda. We just moved into the neighborhood. So he has to have a... Wait, no, he has to have a, a name that starts with B. Because we're doing Brenda, Bud, and... Um... B... Have y'all met my husband, Bud Windchimes? Not Bear of Me. <laughs> oh, just... Oh, let's name him Baseball. Because <laughs> I want him to grow up to be straight. <laughs> ah! Okay, we're Brenda. Brenda, my husband, Bud Windchimes, and my son, Baseball Windchimes. <laughs> oh, they have a trivia. They got trivia. What alpha mom does Lynette clash with over the school play? I don't know, and I don't care. Hey, it's Wisteria Lane. My name is Mary Alice Young. When She's I dead. When I my time on Wisteria Lane, I think mostly of good things. Well-maintained lawns, and even better maintained housewives. Of course, there is another side to life That's on Brie. this idyllic street. A darker side. One that my friends and neighbors would do anything to cover up. While we all wish to be the person She's our talking over herself. us to be, there are always secrets we don't want our neighbors to Boca know. Jeans! Some are secrets in name only, out in the open for all the world to that see. That was an actual picture of Eva Longoria. How much they try to conceal the truth, somehow things always find a way to come back to Wait, the surface. Wait, is my character concealing a scar? What just happened? As the most successful real estate broker in town, Edie Britt has always understood the importance of first impressions. A bad first impression can cause a prospective buyer to question their While decision. A strong impression. Oh, she's talking over herself. To beat prospective buyers to the punch. However, Not this. first impressions can often be misleading. <laughs> when Edie first met her new neighbors, she thought she had met the perfect family. But as Edie and everyone else in the neighborhood will soon find out, there's no such thing as the perfect family. Welcome to Wisteria Wait. Lane. Now that you've created your family, the first thing you should try is moving. Using your mouse, <laughs> click the Have you ever moved your body? To move into the living room. Why do we need a real estate agent if we already bought the house? Do y'all know? It is, it's very similar to The Sims 2, by the way. So I can zoom in. Welcome to Wisteria Lane. Okay, I now get it, girl. You don't have to keep the doing this. The first thing you should try is move. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about moving the camera. Yay. If you ever have a problem figuring out where you are or where you want to go, 
You can always move the camera to get a better view. Move the mouse to the left or right edge of the screen to rotate around your character. I can also hold or down the middle. The top and bottom of the screen to excellent. With that, you are now. I'll be using the. I'll be using the scroll lane. wheel. As you do so, look for green question mark signs around the neighborhood. Clicking on these will give you helpful tips about the object or nearby area. Have fun. I have no idea if you get to customize your home. Y'all are y'all are playing options. this with me for the first turn time. And upgrade. Once you select turn on, being near the television. If you ever find yourself stuck, confused, or want to refer back to tips like these, you can check your hints. I'm indicated by a light bulb. I don't care hint. about TV. I don't watch TV in real life. I'm not gonna watch TV in a video game. <laughs> you just received your first alert. Whenever you receive someone's a knocking. Or hint, the checkbox icon will uh -oh. appear to tell you that new information has been added. I can't uncenter on my character. It's always centered on my character. I, I feel knocks like. On your door, click on the door and select open door to let them in and initiate conversation. Stop knocking. If you want to hello, I'm Edie. You are now involved in a conversation. Oh no. <laughs> I need this level of tutorial as an introvert. In the the you are now involved in a conversation. Are, click on the line that you want to say, but choose carefully. What you say will have an impact on the flow of the conversation. And this is perfect. As an introvert, I would like to have three sets of things of what I can say to people and what reaction that's going to elicit. Hello, Edie. What can I do for you? Edie. Brit, right? Please call me Brinda. What do you want? I'm going to go with the mean. I'm here to show you around your new house, silly. Why Sometimes do I? Have wait, wait, wait. Say. In those instances, a continue button will appear in the middle of the screen instead of the face in Do you mind if I come in? Why does she need to show me around my house? We've clearly already unpacked and the whole house is done. We've unpacked and it's done. I'm going to say apparently I have no choice in the matter. Right. Now let me give you a little dirt on this place. She just doesn't care. As an introvert, it's also my worst nightmare for someone to just walk into my house and also to knock on my door unannounced and unexpected in the first place. This house was actually built on an ancient Indian burial ground. Oh, how exciting. Uh, that's terrible. Is the house haunted? You can't be serious. Jesus, I'm kidding. But you should have seen the look on your face just then. Priceless. Is this actually her voice? Is this actually her voice? Brenda, why does Brenda have a dumpy? The next, no, never mind. There have been a few newsworthy events on this street, however. What do you mean by newsworthy? Moving on. Brenda's BBL. She. That's one of the secrets. Brenda left the neighborhood and she came back with this. She was gone for two months. She came back with this huge this is dumpy. Nice furniture you have in here. Wow, nice big TV. That is this. That is a teeny TV. Is that some kind of joke? Actually, I just remembered that I have an appointment I need to get to. Houses don't sell themselves, you know. <laughs> Believe me, I wish they did sometimes. Anyway, if you need anything, call me on my cell. Here's the number. At the end of a conversation, an exit button will appear in the lower center of the screen instead of standard dialogue options. Let's do Click the mean one. To leave Thanks. The conversation. Thanks, you certainly are the most unique person I've met so far. And by unique, I mean overbearingly obnoxious. I get to say things in this game that I would never say to anyone else, and y'all don't know it, but I'm about to burn down this neighborhood. <laughs> get yourself- Do they kill you in this? Now who the fuck is knocking on my door? Is there such a thing Hello, as privacy? I'm oh. Bree Hello, Bree. Won't you please come in? I'm sorry, Bree. I'm kind of busy here. Actually, it's Mrs. Windchimes. Only my friends call me Brenda. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I was just having coffee with some of the other women of Wisteria Lane, and I was wondering if you'd like to join us. I would be delighted, Bree. Just go across the street and to the left. It's the big blue house with brick on the bottom and the immaculate garden. You can't miss it. I will try to make it over when I can. Excellent. See you soon. Okay, bye. 
I'm still clicking things in my house. If y'all could calm Use down. Use the stairs to go between the first and second floor of your house. To do the couch has two actions. Sit and upgrade. Sit will raise your composure need. Raise my composure? I sit down on the couch to maintain my composure. Is this therapy? What is this game? I guess I'll go sit on the couch for a while. In my pajama jeans. Oh, <laughs> I'm getting more and more composed as I sit on this couch. Her face is terrifying. I'm going to be the most composed person. I'm going to be able to punch everyone in this neighborhood in the face and still have this grin on my face when I'm done sitting on this couch. Y'all ain't, ain't going to be ready. Desperate Housewives, the video game, but we're destroying the whole neighborhood. Okay, I guess I'm composed enough. We should go check out um, Breeze. Primary goals appear inside your goals tab in blue. Secondary oh, we need to go check our mail first. To complete an episode and move on to the next one. You must complete all of your blue goals. If you're ever I'm having episodes. Go, follow the blue compass arrow at your feet and it will guide you to where you need to go next in order to progress with your goals. I'm having episodes. This game is in episodes. You've just acquired an object. To look at it, click on the flashing inventory button, represented by a purse, Oops. in the lower left corner of the screen. Every time I go to the, the left side of the screen, it indicated by a purse is where everything an you pick unmarked up pill bottle. If an item can be used immediately, a use button will appear can I use it? in your inventory. Oh. Simply click on that button to use the item. The bottle of medication came from inside the envelope marked EB. You had better hold on to them until you figure out who EB is. There's a cop! On Wisteria Lane ...and allows you to move around the neighborhood more easily. If you click somewhere on the map, you will walk to that location. If you double-click on a house on the map, you'll oh, move to that location. Oh, we can warp there. Use the map to save time while moving Perfect. around the neighborhood. This is the home of Bree Bandicamp and her children, Andrew and Danielle. Bree is a perfectionist who runs a tight ship. Everything around her must be immaculate. Andrew and Danielle, on the other hand, don't really see eye to eye with her. Ever since her husband Rex died, Bree's control over her children has been slowly... Her husband out. died? Did that happen in the show? Once again, I haven't seen but maybe some episodes from the first season. He was murdered? I'll continue knocking until you answer it. Hi, glad you could make it. And look at you, all dolled up for a girl's night out. I'm wearing pajama jeans and strappy gel heels. <laughs> ah, is she reading me? Thanks. Why don't we'll you be make polite. At home. Everyone is excited to meet the new girl on Wisteria Lane. Um, sure. I think I'll do just that. Can't wait to meet everyone. Oh my god. Do you have a minute? Hey, sis. How's it going? I can't... I wish I could Hello. zoom in further. So nice to meet you. I'm Susan Mayer. Hi, Susan. Can I call you Susan? Did you have any problems getting your husband to let you out of the house? Oh, this is so problematic. This is so problematic. The husband... She asked if the, your husband let you... Was able to let you out of the house... Ah! It's nice to meet you. Now, is that Mrs. Meyer or Ms. Meyer? What is going on? Hey, Susie, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you married? Do you have children? Everything is revolving around being married and having kids. This is my gay nightmare. This is, oh my God, I'm having flashbacks to every single holiday at my relatives and asking me if I have a girlfriend when clearly we know that we know chat do you know can you tell <laughs> chat can you no, tell I'm not married anymore just call me Susan oh yeah I am married that part's not my nightmare uh oh <laughs> not that part what happened? Was it a messy divorce or did he die or something? No, I'm really okay. I'm going to really Just lean into this. Happy marriage turned bitter divorce. <laughs> At least I got something good out of it. My daughter Julie. 
One day, I found out that my ex, Carl, was cheating on me with his secretary. So I did the only sensible thing. I kicked him out. Or he left. Depends on who tells the story, I guess. I'm glad you got yourself and your daughter away from him. What a bastard. Well, I'm completely over him now. I can concentrate more on my children's books this way, too. Not <laughs> she writes children's books. Does she do that in the show? Get so, out. Tell me about yourself. What does your husband do? Tell me about yourself. What does your husband do? Not what I do, what my husband does. So is this this is just reality simulator? Really? I dated a doctor not that long ago. Dr. Ron didn't really end that well though. I don't think I do need to watch this show. See, the thing is, I had just remarried my ex-husband for health insurance purposes, and I tried to protect Dr. Ron's feelings by not telling him. Okay, but that is so America. Having to remarry someone for health insurance? But, uh, for some reason, he didn't get that I was just looking out for him. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's my fault. Here I am just meeting you, and already I'm expecting you to solve my problems. Yeah, girl, you need boundaries. You just seem really nice and easy to talk to. No, it's called boundaries, sis. I and that was let a... you get around to the other gals. That was a well, whole big dumperoo. Hey, <laughs> that was a whole big dumperoo. Oh, I'm stuck in the bathroom. Meet Gabrielle. Meet Lynette. Okay. Look at me, I already know where my goals are. Is this not identical to my house? Sounds Is that like the point? All right, let's go talk to Lynette. Howdy, neighbor. Welcome to the neighborhood. I'm Lynette Scavo. <gasps> oh my god. Um, what was it? Codename Varsity Blues? Hi, Lynette. I'm Brinda. Let me do a little preemptive strike here and apologize in advance for anything my brood might do to you or your house. Okay. They are amazing kids, but you know how it is. Sometimes they just get a little out of hand, especially when the three boys get together. Thanks. I'll be sure to lock my doors from now on. Lynette, your children frighten me, and I haven't even met them yet. Is that what you were going for? <laughs> it's better to prepare the uninitiated for the worst. My twins sometimes act like they just escaped from a zoo and my oldest just follows along on their adventures. That's a lot of kids to have to pay their way into college. I mean, pay for college. Oh, the soundboard's not working. Hold on. I'm clicking out of the game in order to do that sound effect and now I'll click back in the game. <laughs> That didn't happen. Uh-oh. Shh. Um, boys will be- Not nah, boys will be boys. I bet you and your husband's hands are sore from all the spanking you must have to- <laughs> My husband and I don't believe in hitting our children. Don't get me wrong, we punish <laughs> them, but in creative <sighs> ways. In creative ways. When it comes to keeping children under control, only spanking works. My husband and I were both disciplined and we turned out fine. <laughs> I guess years of dealing with bad behavior at the office puts it all in perspective. And it's not like I can spank my clients, even if I think it might be good for them. Is she a therapist? Is she a th Wait, what does she do? Is this chat? This game might be worse than Top Model. This might be worse than Top Model. Oh, yes. We traded staying home with the kids for the first couple of years, but now we found a way for both of us to work and spend time with the kids. I don't know. Work can be rewarding and all, but nothing seems as rewarding as raising a child. I completely agree. My job as a housewife is what keeps me going each day. I can never give up any of the time I've spent raising my son. I would feel guilty or selfish. We're going to go with... 
I like my I job a as a housewife. Mom for five years, so I understand. Oh, I don't want to keep you all to myself, but thanks for chatting. Have fun talking to the women. Okay, bye. Let's talk to Gabrielle. I would say that's supposed to be evil on Boria. I'm Gabrielle Solis, but you can call me Gabby. That's not her voice, is it? And that does, that looks the least like her than all the other ones. Um, it's, I feel like she didn't. She said no to being in this game. Is that her? I can't tell if that's her or not. Um, pleased to meet you, Gabby. Do you always dress up for gatherings at Breeze, or is this a special occasion? We'll ask this her that. Thing, it's nothing special. <laughs> she looks like Vanessa Hutchins. Here, it's practically haute couture. Not it's haute couture. Stella Savante from down the street. Oh, I'm gonna do this. Oh, I see. Secondhand clothes for a second-rate woman. <laughs> I'm going to be doing some awful things in this game, and I just want y'all to know I'm not a, an awful person, but I'm going to do them because it's a video game. Very funny. I play Tomb Raider, and I also don't, Look, didn't kill a thousand go. people. I'm sorry, but if I don't find a bathroom soon, I'm going to pop out of this thing. So that was a short conversation, probably because we were mean. Now that we've gotten all the formal introductions out of the way, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself? Brinda. It's pronounced Brinda. <laughs> My husband and I, just, we just moved into town. I came because I wanted... Uh, We have a son together. Baseball. <laughs> My husband, Bud, is a doctor. Oh, how nice. And how long have you and your husband been together? Ugh, too long. What's it to you? About 20 years or so? I can't tell you the exact number. It seems like only yesterday. Oh, um, that part. Hello, you're a woman. Shouldn't that number be etched in your mind somewhere? She said, "I'm a woman. I don't can't. I don't know numbers. This is awful. I wish I could tell you more. I can't remember that far back. My wedding day is sort of hazy. Memory. My memory isn't exactly. So uh, I think what happened. Remember the scar we saw? I think there's gonna be. She's gonna have her own storyline. That's a very strange thing to say. <laughs> well, I'm not what you expect. I'll say. Just what do you mean by that? Brinda. Some time ago, I was involved in an accident and lost the better part of my memory leading up to that point. My husband filled me in on the details, but I only sort of... Re oh, my God. I mean just what I said. I can't remember. There was a tragic accident about 20 years ago that ruined the better part of my memory. I was forced to fill in the blanks with family photos and what my husband told me. Gave me amnesia. So these are all basically the same thing, but said with different emotions. We'll do this one. My, I certainly wasn't expecting you to tell us that. We really trauma dump immediately. Perhaps we should move on. Yeah, what if he's not my husband? I don't know, Bree. It's not that bad. I know I've got more than a few moments in my life that I'd like to forget about altogether. <laughs> Not! You got amnesia against your will, but uh-huh, there are a few things I'd like to forget. This is not how you, by the way, this is not how you relate to someone who's had a, a medical situation. You, this is not how you relate, by the way, to people. It's really not that big of a deal. Uh, the whole mess used to bother me, but I've moved on. It's been difficult. We'll do Don't that one. This the wrong way, but that's just so weird. From what you're telling us, <laughs> Not that's it weird. Like there's a huge stretch of your life that you can't account for. How could she possibly take that the wrong way, Gabby? I'd like to take this time to apologize on Gabrielle's behalf. Apparently, she's been taking notes from the Edie Britt School of Social Etiquette. All I'm saying is that when you only know about one half of your life, there's no telling when the other half might come back for a visit. Uh oh. Please. What do you say we cut the small talk and get down to business, hmm? What's the business? I don't want our new neighbor to think I'm a snoop or anything. But I saw Edie Oh, they all gossip? Questionable the other day. You won't think any less of me for divulging this bit of gossip, will you? I wish that I really wish they had a robot sound that said my name cuz they always say everything except my name. 
You won't think any less of me for divulging this bit of gossip, will you, Brinda? <laughs> no objections here. Spill it, Gabby. I saw her sneaking around and digging through people's mailboxes while I was out jogging. My mailbox? No. That's a federal crime. But I thought you should all know about it. What a coincidence. I actually found something. Oh, you just saw have to hear what I found in my mailbox. What are you talking about? I found these pills. They must be pills? Edie's. So that's what she was looking for. I wonder what they are. They're probably special extra strength birth control pills. You know, considering how much Edie gets around. Not slut shaming her. Or maybe it's something she puts in her date's drink to get them all riled up. Not roofy talk. I definitely feel the love here. After all the comments she was making this morning, I can see her do that. They're probably not diet pills. I bet she drinks slim fast. Well then, I should probably hold on to this to keep the men around here safe from eating. These are all problematic. I'll just say I feel the love here. You are so going to fit in great around here. Brinda? <laughs> I agree completely. And while I would love to stay and continue this discussion, I gotta go before Tom lets the kids play one of his car racing video. Yeah, I better get going too. Not car racing video games. My book. Girl, how hard is it to write a children's book? <laughs> I say that I've never written a children's book, so I'm, I'm sure it's really hard. It's really great. It's been such a pleasure. Oh. Your secrets button, indicated by a folder, is where all of the dirt that you've gathered on other people in the neighborhood is stored. Of course, if you do anything secret worthy, it will be listed here as well. Your options button allows... Let's turn up the voice volume a little bit. Dialogue. I love the clicking. They have really good click sounds. Okay, so we've obtained some secrets. Your we have some pills. Button, indicated by a camera, is where you can take photos of people and places. To take a photo, click on the take. Can I take a selfie? Oh, it's over. Um, we got folders. These are hints, tutorial hints, and goals. Home sweet home. <laughs> Did I almost just, just get run over? I'm going to walk back to my house. I just want to explore the neighborhood. I'm having fun. Your husband and son will be arriving home soon from work and school. Oh, I need to cook a meal for them. Okay. Is that my mailbox? That's Edie going through someone's mailbox. Mama... Freeze. Can I zoom in? I can't. Gotcha. What are you doing? Can I only... Is this her? That's my mailbox! What are you doing at... Get away from my mailbox! Oh, sorry. This really isn't as bad as it looks. Brinda? <laughs> from what I hear, this isn't the first time this happens. The ladies told me you had a habit of snooping. Would you care to explain well, yourself? you wouldn't know it yet, but our mailman can be a little absent-minded. I have some important real estate documents that I was expecting days ago. Can I just tell you, low-rise bootcut jeans are the move. Just so y'all know, I'm on that team. Low-rise bootcut jeans. <laughs> well, if that happens, I'll bring them to of you. Of course. Great idea. Thanks again. Mind you your should business. Check your mail every day. You never know what you're going to get. To do so, select your mail. Tending your garden will raise your happiness need and increase your prestige in the neighborhood. To tend your garden, select oh. the flower and then click on the Tend Garden action. So that's your tro there's a tutorial. Welcome to for your tending garden, my your garden. Own little plant sanctuary. Take good care of it, and you'll be rewarded with beautiful flowers year round. To your left are several tools that will help you keep your garden healthy and happy. These tools are the planting trap. I'm not going to do this tutorial, by the way. Oh my god, there's bugs everywhere. <laughs> what? I put them in different places. You know what? I'm on level one of this. So what am I trying to do? Like, match up? 
Well, I guess if I put all yellow ones over here and I'll just put all pink ones, this is this is sure not doing anything either. Pull some weeds. And what are these? Oh, that's killing them. <laughs> oh my god! Why does it say Sears? Why does it say Sears? Is a Sears sponsorship? I gotta go. I have to fucking go. I just ruined. I just poured bug spray and made mud and then decided to. I was over it, by the way. Basically, drenched everything in uh, bug spray and too much water. Oh, what are we going to cook them? How about a nice banana meatloaf? I don't know what the fuck that is, but let's do it. Oh, this welcome tutorial for kitchen. this, of course. The cooking mini game will allow you welcome to your kitchen. Welcome to recipe card contains all the instructions. Task list tab. Limit our first recipe is I got this. Salad. Don't worry. In general, you should use. Yo, I got it. Oh, I only have two minutes to do this. Preheat oven to three hundred and oh wow, you this oven must be very accurate. Three hundred and fifty. Add butter to bowl. Butter. Oh. Click it to bowl. Add ground beef to bowl. Add breadcrumbs to bowl. <laughs> okay, why is this fun? Add banana to bowl. Y'all ever had? I've never had a banana meatloaf. I'm putting the whole salt shaker in there. All the black pepper and all the paprika. We're gonna give it another stir really red. Cook meatloaf in the oven. Oh, is it in there? Oh, no, here it is. Remove meatloaf from the oven. Okay, I guess when it's done. Not motion controls. Perfect! A plus, A plus, A plus. Time to serve it, hunties. Hey, honey. That smells really good. Hey, bud. Yikes, bud. Don't sneak up on me when I'm holding sharp knives. Oh my gosh, I was so involved in cooking, I didn't hear you come home. Let's yell. Well, Sorry, they're both yelling. <laughs> we just got home. How was your day? Did you have a good day? Well, it's about time. <laughs> well, it's about time. I need to tell you about my day. Here Can we wait? go. My day felt extra long today, and I just want to rest and relax for a minute. Well, fine. I can tell you about it during dinner. It was as busy as can be. There is so much work to do setting up the new office here. So really he gets to tell me much. about his day, but I don't get to tell him about mine. Patient files that have to be updated and organized. New computers to network together. He hasn't even complimented my pajama jeans. Luckily, I found a new assistant to help out around the office. Um, that's nothing compared to my day. It's a competition. <laughs> I'd love to hear about your day, honey, but I'm really <gasps> hungry. Is dinner almost it's ready? a competition. I had the worser day. There are plenty of Bertolini, Bertoli frozen meals in the freezer. That's a real, is that not a real brand? Can you even wait until after I tell you about my day? I'm really sorry, honey. It's been a long day. Well then, I'm glad I made dinner for you two. If you're lucky, there might be some leftovers for you. Oh, dinner for two that part I think we might get divorced Oh uh, mom this doesn't taste as good as your normal cooking I swear to god that is no way to speak to your mother young man I just killed a gnat baseball shut your fucking mouth No dear he's right the new kitchen will take some getting used to That's right I worked very hard on this meal well, maybe tomorrow night you can cook dinner for your parents. How does that sound, baseball? <laughs> I think I think the pain started when I named my son Baseball. Let's just change the subject, shall we? How was school, son? Yeah, I named him Baseball. I don't really want to talk about it. Can I be excused? Absolutely not. This is our first family dinner in our new home, and I'm going to force everyone to be happy. That's ridiculous. 
First you forced me to move to this stupid place. Now you won't let me leave the dinner table. As long as you live under this roof, you will live by our rules. It's not like I'm asking you to give blood. Just... This is the most dysfunctional family. Okay, we're gonna go all out. I hate, I hate them all. I wanna, what I really wanna do, divorce, I wanna move to, I'm gonna move to San Francisco, and I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, sell my art on the street. Fine. What do you want to know? I'm going to sell my macaroni art in San Francisco and nobody's going to get in my way. Have you met anyone that you like at school yet? Most of them are total losers. There were a couple people that seemed pretty cool. Oh, really? Were any of them cute girls? You don't know if he's gay. Honey, please, that's unnecessary. Would you like to tell us more about them, baseball? <laughs> Well, there is a teaching assistant that seems really helpful in my English class. Not a teaching assistant. Isn't he like 15, 16? Good. If you make friends with her, she might be able to improve your grades. I don't think students and teaching assistants should fraternize. Oh, honey, baseball doesn't need to schmooze to improve his grades. He's a very bright child. Or you could just make friends with a classmate. So can I go or do I still have to serve some time? I need to meet my old friends online. Oh, just get out of here. <laughs> Were we like that to our parents? You'd think we had the plague or something. I remember back when he enjoyed hanging out with us. What happened to him? These are all awful. I wouldn't say any of these things. I just don't know, dear. So anyway, how was your day? Fucking finally. It was so exciting. It was stressful. It was stressful. I'm stressed. I'm starting to unravel. Okay, I did a couple things and I'm starting to unravel and I just need someone to see me. It all started with a visit from Edie. She came off as a little forward. She barged into this house and started ordering her me around like she a maid. She seems like someone who will make an interesting neighbor. After that, I was invited to Brie Vandekamp to meet some of the other housewives. They were very friendly, but I don't quite trust them, that part. Well, you are a savvy lady. I'm sure you will deal with them appropriately. Not a savvy lady. Yes, I met a number of... We'll just go with that. You really have had a long day, haven't you? I apologize for not letting you tell me about it earlier. You better apologize. I do a lot more than you think while you're at work. All those boxes didn't unpack themselves, you know. Now tell me about that new assistant of yours. Just how young and how attractive is she? You don't- I don't have any other options. It had. it goes to jealousy. It goes straight to jealousy. Oh. It, you don't trust your spell. spouse in this game. It's all about jealousy and one-upping each other. Don't be coy. Tell me how old she is. There is plenty. There's gotta be- Every single one of these is how old is she? Every single option is how old is she? I'm not sure of her exact age, but I would guess around 30. We're going to have to kill her. <laughs> Look at that smile. She said, going to have to kill her. Don't worry. I hired her because she had an impressive resume. No need to be so defensive. I trust you. Thank you, honey. You two should meet sometime. Eh. Ready uh, for dessert? I don't think I could eat another bite. Oh, I wasn't talking about food. That's good. Then we can just go straight to bed and unwind a little. Okay, let's just go to bed. So it's sex, sex, or mediocrity. And we're going with sex. Oh? Oh, what a nice idea. I'll meet you up there. We're going with the sex. Oh, do I move? Oh, goodbye. Good Goodbye, husband. Oh! Why isn't he naked? Not he's a never nude. Not my husband Bud is a never nude. Sometimes the stars align and two people hit it off immediately. Do we hit it off? Other times, only time will tell whom will prove to be a friend. 
She's walking in the road. Walk on the sidewalk. What is and she doing? Who reveal themselves to be a worthy adversary. Why did that old hate me? What the fuck just happened? Yeah, we probably won the game. I'm so glad y'all wanted me to play this game. families are the ones that work together to achieve their goals. There's no subtitles, course, by the way. Even the best run households have the occasional kink or two to work out. What an idiot for getting his keys. But the truth is that no matter how well things seem to come together in a family, appearances can be deceiving. They're either gay or twins. I can't tell. And when it comes to Twitch. friends and boyfriend neighbors, twins. Appearances often have precious little to do with the reality of what's going on behind closed doors. Not the Chrysler Pacifica. <laughs> Is that a Chrysler Pacifica? Maybe these people aren't rich. <laughs> oh, fuck. Someone's about to knock on the door. Okay. Let's deal with this. Hello there. We just wanted to stop by and welcome you to the neighborhood. How kind. Oh, absolutely. I'm Daniel, and this is my twin brother, Frank. Twin brother? Like okay. We getting to know our new neighbors, don't we, Frank? Of course we do. Um, so when you're not meeting neighbors, uh, so what do y'all do? Well, well, I made my fortune, if you could call it that, in the fashion industry. Perhaps you've heard of me, Daniel Fox? Um, is this the only... Is he the only gay person in the whole series? They said, oh, the gay person, we have to make them fashion. They said, what's the stereotype? Fashion? Gay? Let's do it. Well, it's nice to see that someone around here has good taste. You wouldn't believe what I saw that Edie Brick character stepping out of the house in just the other day. I guess to be fair... He's probably the best person in this neighborhood. Everyone else is. Oh, Bree's son is gay. Oh, not the only gay. How many gay? And Frank, was it? Do you work in the fashion industry? Actually, I run my own business. Maybe okay. you should show her what you do. Frank is starting up an internet-based networking company. I don't know what that he means. He can set up the computers in your home for you. For free, of course. That is assuming that it's all right with you, is it? Oh, you can do whatever you want as long as I don't have to pay for it. That part. <laughs> okay, there's one right over there. I'll start with that one. <gasps> okay. Not Frank installing malware on my computer. So now that he's Frank's gonna spy. Magic. We can chat a little bit until he finishes. Oh shit! Can I uninstall it? Is that true? Is that a storyline? What do you think of your new neighbors? I'm gonna... I have to play it. I have to... I feel like he had to set up my computers. That's part of the storyline, probably. I need to, I need a computer. I can't set up a computer myself. I built my computer. So he was in the show? Oh, y'all are just guessing. Okay. We're gonna play it to very happy right now because i don't want him to think i hate everybody even though i do mm -hmm. listen sweetie let me tell you something about <laughs> our little listen sweaty you will never die of boredom there is always something going on really it seems like such a quiet place that facade will quickly fade trust me within a week you'll have plenty of stories to tell me uh -huh. like what oh there's so much to tell too little time well did you notice how Susan Mayer was acting this afternoon? Oh, it's Mayer? She's running around like a chicken with its head cut off, flipping over chairs in her backyard and on the porch. She seemed pretty freaked out. She must have lost something important. I'm sure it's nothing. All right, I'm all done Some with people that just one. like to Are flip over chairs. Um, oh yeah, head over to my son's room next. If he finds out his computer isn't hooked up to the network. Wasn't he on his computer last night? Yeah, Frank can be a little coarse at times, but he means well, so you get used to it after a while. 
Oh, I didn't really notice. He was in the military so long, I think he got used to barking orders at people. Interesting. I couldn't tell. After he finished his service, he landed a job in the city, but he wasn't happy there. So we decided to get a place together out here in the suburbs. There must be a great story about that. There's no special reason for why I'm here, really. Sorry to disappoint you. I guess you could say I just needed to take a break from the fashion industry. It was like a big party that never stopped. But sometimes, you really need it to stop. Must be a lot of fun. You get to meet all the supermodels. Yes. It did get awfully hectic at times. Um, where's Frank? Is this over yet? Okay. I hate Looks having like to make small talk. system is already set up. Oh, yeah. He's good. I'm not surprised. He's good with computers. And that system of his is top what? of the line. Dual why is... Two gigs of RAM. It works. I, why do I have the best... At... It's not two gigs of RAM. Not two gigs of RAM being a fucking ma amazing... <gasps> not this. Funny, that sounds like something he would say. You computer people all seem to speak a different language. Oh, two that gigs so? of RAM, mom. He has, he has a Chromebook. <laughs> he has a Chromebook. He has a Chromebook from... He has an eight-year-old Chromebook. I've set up the browser for you with a tutorial and a bookmarked homepage. When you oh, start thanks. the browser for the first time, you'll be directed through the tutorial. If you're already familiar with the internet, it should be like <laughs> riding a bike. But give the tutorial a shot anyhow. Uh, dear chat, what year was this made, actually? What year was this made? 16 gigabytes. 16 is good. I've got 32. 2006. Oh my God. This is the year I graduated high school. This came out the year I graduated high school. This is a snapshot of the world when I graduated high to skip school. Skip the tutorial. Just click the skip tutorial button. And that's that. You're all set up. Thank you. You're a doll. You're welcome. Well, it was an app. Okay, bye. Leave my house. I have to get on. I have to get online now. The computer has two actions: browse internet and the computer. The computer. The computer has two actions: <laughs> browse internet and play internet. Browse web or play online poker. I'm going to browse the web first. The internet. <laughs> Think of the internet like a giant sea of information. The vast ocean. Had the people who... Oh, oh, there was a Chrysler Pacifica! It was a Chrysler Pacifica! It was a Chrysler Pacifica. There's an advertisement. Do you know how I know that? My mom had a Chrysler Pacifica. Slim Fast? This game was sponsored by Slim Fast, Chrysler Pacificas, and Sears. I'm just going to skip the tutorial. I know how to use the internet. <sighs> What's AAA? Tim? Oh, this is how to garden, clean. I'm not doing those. Bookmarks, homepage. Welcome to the new internet resource for progressive upscale living. Carolyn writes, I find that when making a complicated recipe. <laughs> oh my God, she reads recipe blogs. Holy shit. I would like to adopt the cat though. Wacky news with a Z. A Florida woman was arrested for stuffing her bra with a hot swallow. Barb Eisenberg faces challenge. Uh, so she put a. Okay. And we have entertainment. They put a lot of effort into this game. Oh, search. Oh, what do I search for? I'm going to search for gay. Can I search for gay? There's no gay on this internet. This internet has no gay. All right. Not 911. All right. 911 didn't work either.
Oh, let's see what I'm supposed to be doing now. Lost and found. You recently came into possession. Oh, Susan search. Oh, we're supposed to spy on Susan. And then we're, this goal is optional. Oh, I'm not returning her pills. I'm selling them. <laughs> Mom, I'm selling her pills. Not my Chrysler Pacifica. Remember, double clicking on the house icons. Oh my God. Map. Oh my God. When you hover over it, it says Chrysler Pacifica. It's literally a Chrysler Pacifica. It says Chrysler Pacifica. This game is sponsored by Chrysler Pacificas. I'm going to throw something out the window by the time this Let's Play is done. And as she does in the cutscenes, I will be walking in the middle of the road. Let's let's lose the other half of our memory. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to see about losing the other half of my memory. So the cars apparently don't hit you. Oh, is that? Oh, that's Lynette. I can s tell her secrets, hug her, slap her, socialize, or talk to. I really just want to go see Edie. I mean, not Edie. T is her name Terry Pratchett? I don't remember her name. I'm just going to breeze on. Did you know Lynette is... Did you... Did someone let me in? You broke into the mire. <laughs> Broken! Oh shit, 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 shit. Shit, leave the house, leave the house. I need to knock. I need to knock. I need to knock. Oh, I can't knock. No one's home. Okay, what's Lynette doing? Hey, you remember me, right? Lynette Scavo? Yeah, I just saw you fucking yesterday. Listen, this is gonna sound odd, but have you gotten to hang out with Susan Meyer at all? I mean, how well do you know her? Not that well. Okay, good. Good? Glad you like her, because I'm going to give you the chance to know her a lot better. And what would I do? Let's just say that one of her paintings somehow came into my possession, and I just wanted to return it to her. What do you mean, came into your possession? <sighs> Let's just say that my boy sort of borrowed it <laughs> from Susan's home without asking her. Your boys stole it? Oh, I don't know. Just give stole it back. It's a negative word. It's not like we're going to keep it. So let's just stick with borrowed. What exactly makes it my problem, Lynette? I'm sure Susan would understand if you just told her the truth. Well, here's the thing. They've done this to Susan before. She was cool about it, but I could tell that it bugged her. Do you want me to say I stole it? Oh, no. You... Don't have to say anything. Trust me, it's simple. I'll make sure to keep an eye out and you can slip in and return Susan's painting. Not me. I broke in, but girl, I'm ready. I broke in before I even started talking to you. So, <laughs> give a girl a break. Will you help me out? You should be aware. I won't take no for an answer. Yeah, they don't call me a shark in the boardroom for nothing. I'm gonna do this. This is transactional. I suppose just this once and you owe me big time. Great. I promise I'll make... So... Breaking and entering. Somehow Lynette talked you into breaking into... Just click on the front door and select sneak in. Okay, so it is in here. A a oh, it's a painting that Susan actually did. It's gonna be one of her children's books. Garbage, mama. Okay. You broke Each into the Meyer house. obstacles scattered about that make it more difficult to sneak around. These obstacles are things like televisions, creaky floorboards, or glass vases. When disrupted, they cause noise, which in turn arouses oh. suspicion. Your current noise level can be viewed on the meter in the lower right oh, corner there it of the is. screen. Hazards are noise-making obstacles in the home that you'll... Okay. The first level in a home will typically have a few scattered hazards, 
Okay. As you sneak around the house, you may notice certain expensive looking items. <gasps> I can if steal you're them? If you sticky fingered type, you can steal these valuables and sell them off at the pawn shop for cash. Done. I'll be doing that. This is a preventable hazard. Once you trigger it, click on the coffee maker to keep it from falling off the counter and making noise. This Should is I a answer the phone? Shh. You're making too much noise. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. Click it! Oh my god. It won't let me click the coffee maker! Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Oh shit! It's a code red! <laughs> Why is she... <laughs> what the fuck is happening? I have to leave. What are you doing in Did there? Did I get arrested? Dead with that racket. Get out. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'll try again. Sorry, 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 sorry. It was, I was really stressed out. That really stressed me out. Okay? I got stressed out. This is a preventable hazard. Once you trigger it, click on the vase to keep it from crashing to the floor and making noise. Well, let's not trigger it. Let's go this way. This is a preventable hazard. Oh, fuck. Once you trigger it, click on the paintbrush jar to keep it from crashing to the floor and making noise. Girl, do it. I clicked it. Okay, good, good, good. This is a correctable hazard. Once you trigger it, click on the television to turn it off. Don't step on it. And so, the majestic bear wades into the stream, ready to claim its prey. On this day, however... My meter's red again. Turn it off! No, no, this... Sis, this way. She's walking around the whole goddamn house to get over there. You found it. Click on the stack of paintings next to the easel to leave Susan's painting and this get out. This is the out. worst. Susan will probably just assume she misplaced it and think nothing of it. Why are there... It's so squeaky. And it looks like I'm about to lose, too. Let's leave. Yeah, going this... I guess she decided to go this way. Doesn't it? She does kind of look like Nancy Drew. I accidentally made Nancy Drew, apparently. <laughs> Girl. Hey, sis. I think it's I did it. Thing that nobody was around to hear you, even though you were the worst cat burglar I've ever seen. I want to give you this gift card. Not an Amazon gift card for breaking into someone's house. It's good at any store in the shopping center. Thanks again. Not a fucking gift card. When do I get to go to the shopping center? Can I do that now? I can't leave Wisteria Lane now, apparently. Goals, loss of... Oh, check your mailbox. Let's do that. Oh, she's my next door neighbor. Very interesting. Oh my god, not you can use the gift card to Sears! <laughs> Jail time or gift card? I'm gonna walk. I need to get some, some steps in. And I'm wearing my pajama jeans. Oh, these are my relationships. Customize your home. Okay, I didn't... No, no, no. Mailbox. She got ahead of herself. I got... Hey. Hey, Brenda. Oh, Bud's calling me. I was in the middle of something, Bud Wind Chimes. This had better be important. How's my sweetheart today? I'm doing just fine. God. <laughs> Wonderful. I want to make sure that you stay happy. Oh, by the way, I hope What'd you, don't you do, mind, bud? I took the liberty of letting the therapist next door know that you would be stopping by. I just figured that with everything being new, it couldn't hurt to hear another affirming voice. Don't you agree? Wait, you signed me up for therapy? Don't you think that's a little presumptuous? I'll go, but only because I need someone to vent to about your behavior right now. <laughs> well, I guess I'll see you later tonight, hon. Hang up. Have a good day. Okay, just hang up. 
So I just got a home upgrade rebate, my gift certificate to Sears, and a file folder that is now open. Provided by Paul Young contains a plethora of documentation on amnesia and repressed memories. Now that you know it's inside, return it to your husband to hear what he has to say about it. Wait, what? Oh, it's from my... Wait, did my husband send me something in the mail? Or this was addressed to my husband and I just read it. Okay, what's this? So I used the home upgrade rebate. I don't know what that did. Let's go ahead and save the game. In their name or your same name. We'll call it Brenda. Perfect. And I want to see what this is. Customize home. Oh yeah, this is just The Sims 2. Budget? I have a... I've only got a $5,000 budget. Downstairs, upstairs. Oh, I haven't even been upstairs. <laughs> Why are there used tissues? Is that my... Oh, God. That's our son's room. There's used tissues all over his floor. Son's bed. Oh, my God. That is his bedroom. Can the walls go down? Oh, walls. Oh, no. That's view the wall upgrades. How am I supposed to see the... Oh, not sponsored by Sears again. Master bathroom, master bedroom, downstairs. I'm, I'm probably going to spend the most time downstairs. How do I make the walls fucking go away? I can't even move the map. Oh, oh my god. This uses the arrow keys. Like, up, down, left, right, not W-A-S-D. But I can't, I still can't move. Oh, I like the blue. I don't like wallpaper. Oh, these are my only fucking options. A hundred dollars to paint your walls? What? I can't see. I can't see anything. I'll make that blue. I need some blue. Dining room will do this horrible wallpaper. Kitchen, I'm thinking... Oh, I haven't applied any of these. Oh, that brightens it up. I like that one. So you have to click it for every one of them. I mean, I don't really care. I'm just going to exit this for now. We're going to deal with that at a different time period. I'm really invested in the drama. Visit the therapist from here to there. It seems like Paul Young borrowed something from your husband, or maybe your husband borrowed something from him. You should return it to your husband's office at the shopping center. To the shopping center. Use your Chrysler Pacifica to visit the shopping center. <laughs> Mama, you don't have to tell me twice to use my Chrysler. My Chrysler Pacifica? <laughs> you honey, hunties. You don't have to tell this diva twice to get in her Chrysler Pacifica. Okay? My Chrysler Pacifica gets me to the mall. Diesel gas? Yes. Probably. <laughs> Buy something nice. Why don't you head to the boutique and check out something nice for yourself? Oh, it's nice to do something nice for myself. It's nice to do something nice for yourself. I don't know. I have no idea what crap. Oh, the pharmacy. Let's talk to the owner. Let's see whose pills they were. Oh, the pharmacy comes out to talk to you. It's so difficult to read doctor's handwriting sometimes. Personally, I don't know how you do it. You wouldn't believe how many mistakes are made because of poor handwriting. Fatal mistakes? On second thought, I shouldn't frighten you. Enjoy your day. <laughs> what is going on? Not Beverly's Boutique. Ah, Beverly would have been a good name too. 
So I have to buy this shit? I, this is garbage. And I have to pay for it? Wait, these are the same things I already had a choice to buy at the beginning. <gasps> these are new. Can I walk around the neighborhood like this? Why does my butt get smaller when I do this? I really like my pajama jeans. Are there other things I can buy? You want me to walk around in a bikini? Do they change what they say to you? If... <laughs> I, I love my padded pajama jeans. I would wear the purple one. I like purple. I like the business suits, too. I mean, we'll do it. <laughs> she... She really does it, doesn't she? Visit the therapist. <laughs> Make sure but to stop by the doctor's office and pay your husband a visit. Alright, I'm gonna... I have to go do that now. I have to go pay my husband a visit while I'm wearing this. No, stop clicking Beverly's goddamn boutique. No, girl, this way. So this is the medical center. <laughs> is that my husband? Oh, he's fighting with someone! Is that the new assistant? <laughs> we'll show her. That man, is he a good friend of yours? Him? No. He's probably married or something. All the good ones are. Is that my what? husband? Yes, he is married. To me! <laughs> I don't believe we've met before. What's my your name? My name's Jacqueline, but most people call me Jackie. Did I just see you flirting with my husband? Just what were you up to, hmm? Okay then, Jacqueline. What were you doing back there with my husband? All you can be is jealous, by the way. All you can be is jealous. Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. His shirt was a bit ruffled and I was helping him out. That's it. Since you clearly didn't get into the medical profession based upon your intellect, what exactly do you do here, Jacqueline? I'm the office manager. I maintain the schedules of all the doctors. Which means I'm something between their mother and their wife. Second wife. Sorry. <laughs> strange. He never mentioned a wife. I imagine it's pretty easy to block out the word wife when you're throwing yourself at a married man. And I bet you had a lot of practice. <laughs> Do yourself a favor and keep your hands and eyes to yourself, Jacqueline. Where's my husband? I need to sit on his couch so I can compose myself. <laughs> oh, my composure is going up! I need to maintain composure. I need to maintain composure. Oh, my needs. I, for I haven't even... Oh my god, my social is need is all the way at the bottom. Can you die in this game? Alright, I need to talk to my husband. Hey, baby. How's your day coming along? Just fine. That's good. I just thought I'd stop by and check out your office. So that woman I was talking to, she works oh, here? that's just Jackie. She's a character. It's nice that you stopped by. Forces me to take a break from the hectic schedule I'm on over here. <laughs> Full lingerie. I can't. I can't. I don't know if I can do this. Probably a good thing I stopped in. It's always nice to see you, honey. I have to get back to work now. I'll, I'll give you a call if I run late. Uh, one last thing for you. Oh, hey. Thanks for bringing these to me. Just don't go making a habit out of this. I'm your wife, not your errand girl. Oh, I'm sorry. If I'd known Paul was finished, I would have picked them up myself. Oh, it's nothing that you need to concern yourself with. Just a few medical journals that I had lying around the house. What were they about? He was curious about some new studies regarding cerebral capacitance. Beats me. Okay. Tell me absolutely nothing then, husband. 
Don't notice me walking into your office in full lingerie. Time to do some snooping. Well, 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 if it isn't a prescription pad. What the fuck is going on? Well, 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 if I didn't just pick up a pad for writing prescriptions. I'm gonna slap Jackie. Ouch! Was that slap justified? You kind of deserve to be slapped, Jackie. You're lucky I'm in a good mood today. What? What the fuck is going on? Oh, I want to go home and play some online poker. That's what I want to do. I'm going to go home and play some online poker. Okay, hold on. I got to go talk to this other doctor. Let's go talk to this other doctor. <laughs> kind of deserved. Just kind of deserve. Why is his office so big and empty? May I help you? Please tell me you're the doctor. I'm Brenda Windchimes. I need to talk. Yes, I am. And it's a pleasure to meet you. Please take a seat. Not me not having an, an appointment. So your husband mentioned that you might be able to use a little direction. Oh, is this is the one I was supposed feel? to? Oh, he's always trying to fix me. Well, it probably wouldn't hurt for me to have someone to talk to. My husband's a bit of a control freak. Probably, I mean, it's good to have someone In to talk case, to. how about we just chat a little? So, what brings you and your family to Fairview? I'm having a live therapy session in this game, by the way. What brought me here? Um, Bud and I decided to move somewhere slower paced. Well, I think you and your husband are going to just love it here. Don't tell me what to think. A therapist wouldn't tell you what to think. Speaking of your husband, how did you two meet? I don't remember. You don't remember? My husband told me I had an awful accident while jogging. Oh, how long ago was this accident? Right before I got pregnant. Well, I guess it is fortunate that you came in. If you would like, we can definitely try to explore your past and try to piece together some of the memories in future sessions. But you don't have to decide that now. So tell me about the two of you meeting. What has your husband told you? Between you and me, he told, we, he told me we met in a park, but I'm not so sure Did about that. Did he tell you how you met? How we met? He noticed me playing a game of chess. He was playing chess, or... He claims he saw me in the park during his weekend chess matches. I bet he doesn't know how to play chess. I guess he gave up chess right after we met because he barely remembers how to play. Don't you think that's odd? Many people have hobbies that they are not particularly good at. It's the activity, stimulation, and sometimes social. Do you have any hobbies that you enjoy but could be better at? No, I'm good at everything. Oh, this... <laughs> Love cooking. This part. I'm pretty much great at everything I do. If you really want to get better at something, you have to invest the time, energy, and determination to get better. Otherwise, the activity oh, is just a poker. distraction and not a hobby. Make sure you differentiate the two. My, I like to sit around in my lingerie and play oh, online poker. Look, I'm really sorry to rush, but I do have an appointment shortly. I'll call you in a few days to set up a formal appointment. Okay. See you later. I need to go write myself some prescriptions. A prescription is required to purchase prescription medicine. Each purchase uses one sheet. Oh, so I can literally just whoa 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 we whoa whoa we whoa we whoa 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 we whoa 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 we whoa we whoa we whoa we whoa I can go write prescriptions at the pharmacy. Who's that? Eunice. <gasps> Herbal tea, perfume, box of chocolates, muscle relaxant requires a prescription, anxiety medication requires a prescription, acuity requires a... What's acuity? Like observation? PTSD medication... 
or a body bar. What's Acuity? Yeah, the Caress brand body soap. I th isn't that awareness? Define Acuity. Yeah, sharpness or keenness of thought. Okay. Well, let's get some of that. Oh, do I have any... Do I have money? Oh, I have $4,800. So I'm going to take one of each, actually. Do I eat them? Use! Designed to increase mental acuity. Side effects can include blah, blah, blah. Oh, oh, that's... Oh, <laughs> oh! Oh, shit, the message this is sending is really bad. That, these increase my needs. These increase my needs. This one increases composure and happiness. Oh, no. Okay, so... That's the message. Can I sit in the fountain? Where did I park my Chrysler Pacifica? Oh, right in front of me. A parking space? Girl, I've lost it. Girl, it's been lost. It being everything. I'm out of coffee. I need the mental acuity. Okay, what's on my to-do list? Lost and found. Take a load off. Raise your fun need by watching some TV. Just standing in the middle of my garden in my lingerie. I was just walking through it in my heels. Look at this wraparound porch, and they don't have any furniture. Oh, who can I call? Service? Oh, what are services? Hello. You have reached AAA temporary services. Please select the service you are interested in. Cleaning, gardening, or food. Oh, let's just clean. Please select the level of cleaning service you would like to hire. For more information on each level of service, please visit our website or our store. Yeah, Would you silver. like to order or cancel additional services? No, that's good. That's nice. Does that eat up my money? Is there a, um... Are there cheats in this game? Are there cheats? How do you... How can you watch the TV when it's placed over here? Oh, we're really doing this. Okay. Oh, we're really doing this. Your quiet neighborhood may not be as peaceful as you think. A new study has shown a sharp increase in juvenile perpetrators of violent and drug-related crimes, especially I can't click anything, by the way. And it's very low volume. I can't do anything. And I quote, We believe this is the result of the dissolution of the American family. Kids don't feel comfortable talking to their parents, so they turn to other more questionable forms of guidance, such as their peers, the internet, or video games. Even worse, it's only coming out of one ear. <laughs> under your very nose. The group verified their data with the Fairview Police Department, who agreed. Rising criminal activity rates indicate local... He has absolutely no idea what he's in for. Yeah, sooner or later, he'll be friggin' addicted. Is my son baseball Just selling like drugs? Wait, what's he up to? Your son is being awfully loud. There's no telling who he's yelling at. Oh, there's the... Okay, there's the maid. No one was around to see me, so I had more than enough time to line up my shot before I blew him away. That moron should have known better than to mess with us. He had it coming. Is my son involved in gang Next violence? Time? We're going to kill every last one. Oh, it's one video of them. games. It's definitely video games. She she did this. Talk to slap. Up, you, you can slap your son? Absolutely not. Did you have a question for me? Who is that girl I saw you holding hands with last week? Oh, you know, mom. Just a girl. I want to know her name, where she lives, and I want to speak to her parents immediately. <laughs> I'm not doing late, that Mom. one. I've moved on. 
Oh, he's moved on. Uh. Okay. Uh, exactly. An entire week ago. I'm just not ready for a longer term relationship. I failed as a mother. I've raised a little philanderer. None of these are good options. I'll just say I failed as a mother because clearly I have. Uh, I'd love to chat it up with you, Mom, but I'm late for a date. See you later. Uh, talk hey, to him Mom, again. Did you want to talk to me? How's my favorite son today? Am I in trouble? I certainly hope not. Is everything all right? I'm okay, I guess. If you ever need to talk, remember that your mother's here. Yeah, whatever, Mom. I'll see you later. <laughs> Goodbye, sweetie. I'm going to snoop around your room. Why are there tissues all over the floor? Holy shit. Why are there... I suddenly got about 12 tasks to do. I need to play some online poker. <laughs> if there's a poker mini game in this, I'm gonna fucking scream. <laughs> I'm gonna scream! Ah! There's an actual poker mini game. I can't do this. I don't know how to play poker. Okay, so that's real. That's a real thing you do in this game is you play poker online. Can I take a bath? Can I poop? I can't even poop. So is this my bedroom? Change outfit. Now what does upgrading it do? Oh, it changes the appearance. Oh, so people judge me based on like what my home looks like or something. What happens if I shower? Is this going to be a sim situation? Shower in my lingerie. Oh. Wait, I just disappeared. Oh, that's helping my um cleanliness, my appearance, and my composure. Oh, I'm not feeling very composed right now. And I do need to socialize. Wash hands. Oh, we'll primp. I need to do a little primping. Do these things matter? If these things go all the way down? We don't know. Not all of this. <laughs> Watch your hands. Sponsored by Caress. Where is my husband? Oh, it's 7 p.m. Did I, was I supposed to cook dinner? What time does he get home? Oh, there he is. No, no, no. Husband. Talk to. Hey, bud. How was your day, How's bud? How's my sweetheart today? I'm having a dreadful day. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll do anything to make you happy. I'm so lucky to have you, bud. I'll see you soon. That's exactly how I talk to my husband, too, when we're in the same house and we're not going anywhere. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye, hon. What the fuck just happened? Socialize. Oh, we'll kiss him. And we'll tell him some secrets. Hey, hon. What's going on? What's on your mind, bud? You can always tell when I have something on my mind, can't you? Of course, I'm your wife. I sold a friend a pair of tickets to a baseball game that I'd gotten for free. Beautiful seats, too, right behind home plate. I didn't tell him that I paid nothing for the tickets, and he didn't ask. What I told him was that I'd let them go for face value. Did you really? I didn't tell him the whole story. I deceived him. You probably think I'm a horrible friend, don't you? I don't care. Yeah, I really don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. He's your friend, so you should have told them they were your tickets. You're right. I mean, I wouldn't I do that to a friend, but also if I told you what I did. It's none of my Thanks business. For supporting me. Ew. If you can't tell your wife the whole story, who can you tell? Right again. Perfect. Thank you. We're cornering him. We're we're isolating him from everyone else in the world so we can be his the only person he knows. That's the healthy relationship aspect of it. 
All right, honey, it's time for me to sit down and compose myself for a few hours. Oh, <laughs> just walked through him. Excuse me, honey, I need to sit on the couch and compose myself <laughs> for a few hours. Oh, I like the sound of that. Jesus Christ. I want to know what you think about oh. something. What's your secret? Let's let's see what our son's hey, Mom, secrets are. Did you want to talk to me? <laughs> She's rebooting. Why the sad face, baseball? No, <laughs> oh, nothing. Are you sure it's nothing? I, I just don't want to talk about it with my mom. That's all. Let's not force it. I understand if you change your mind, right. I'm here. All right, I'll tell you. Perfect. Manipulation. Have you ever done something that you regret? Like, you wish you could take back? Of course I have. Everybody's done something they regret. I mean, it's not something super horrible. I didn't hurt anybody or anything like that. Would you like to share it with me? Your mother, Brinda? Maybe another time, Mom. I've got stuff to do now. I'll be here when you need me, baseball. This is like that SNL skit with like Bjork. I'll be here when you need me, baseball. Is that a trumpet? Oh, that's a fireplace. Those are the things you poke the fireplace with. So now what do we do? We just chill in the house? I'm gonna have to do these things tomorrow. Is he really? <laughs> you recently heard some awfully suspicious sounds coming from your son's room. What has he gotten himself into? Is he really going to kill someone? <laughs> ah, so I have to talk to people about it before I make an accusation. He's just playing video games. Well, I think we're about to end there for today, by the way. By the way, that's about all I can handle. A washer and a dryer? Okay, Rich. Oh my god, it's also sponsored by all. It's also sponsored by all detergent. Chat. It's also sponsored by all detergent. So is the house clean? I, I don't know. It seems my happiness is... My happiness has gone way down. <laughs> um, actually, if you are in the Twitch chat, stay here because I'm going to talk to y'all about the schedule for next week and about um, the Discord and all that stuff. I'm going to end the stream, the VOD for YouTube, but stick around if you're on Twitch. I'm going to run to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, stick around. We're going to talk about the schedule for next week because we're going to be playing more of this next week. Okay, well, let's go ahead and make sure we save the game. Heaven forbid I have to do any of this again and then I would just die. It also uh, auto saves. That's nice. Oh, this has been um, a dream. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for being here. Thank you for all the bits don Oop, there's the clapping. Bits donations, subs, gift subs, wonderful Patreon patrons. Tell the reason I get to keep doing this. If you're on Twitch, stick around. I'm gonna end it, and then I'm gonna come back real, and we're gonna talk about the schedule. <laughs> but otherwise, have a good weekend. <laughs> I will see y'all on Tuesday, taking off Monday, seeing my family, and I'll see y'all on Tuesday. Bye! Don't leave! <laughs>